Hey everyone, this is Gary Collins, and I wanted to show you my solar shed, or the, the rest of it. It was partially done before we had most of the systems hooked up, but now it is fully approved by the county and state licenses and entities to be. I've got stickers that tell me I'm official. And so it's all done, and this was, uh, I had to build a battery, basically, enclosure. Your batteries have to be enclosed in order to meet code. So what you do, I, I built this thing, it's all out of scrap material, so I used, I didn't have to buy anything, which was pretty good, because I think this would have been kind of costly. So yeah, I built it to where you can open it, and it all in, so it opens from this end, this end, both these doors open, so I can access the batteries real easily, and it just makes it simpler to maintain them if you can get to them from different angles. Because sometimes I'll have stuff stacked on top of this because I use it as a workbench too. So if I can't get to them that way, I can open up a door either end and I can still get to the batteries to check the, the fluid levels. And so yeah, it worked out real well. And then I have my vent pipe at the end that goes up, starts inside the enclosure and goes outside because you want these batteries will off gas. So you have to make sure that there's ventilation for them. But yeah, it came out pretty well. I double stacked the floor so there's a removable piece of uh, wood in case the batteries, if they ever overflow and the, bat the acid gets in there, I can always take this out without it ruining the main piece of, of the floor of the box. So yeah, it came out pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh, and it weighs a ton, so it will never move unless I disassemble it or drag it out with my truck. But yeah, um, this came out pretty well. And then the only thing else I added was I added a rubber floor in here in order to insulate, help insulate this and fully insulated the inside of this. So uh, batteries don't do well underneath when it gets below freezing. So I, you wanna try and keep the temperature of your batteries pretty stable. So I made sure to insulate the entire building. And uh, so far it's made a huge difference. Actually the temperature stays pretty constant in here now. So yeah, just to give you guys a couple ideas if you're looking to do this yourself or have questions because I didn't know where to start with a battery enclosure. I looked stuff up and it was all over the board. And if you want to buy one, they're really, really expensive, like two grand. 